Hello Floss Tube, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday, July 16th, 2023, and welcome back to my floss tube and stitching series here on my YouTube channel. This is where I talk about all things stitching, sometimes quilting, sometimes project bag making, etc. related. Um, mostly stitching though, and I am so happy to be here again this week. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I love having these chats with you guys almost every week. Um, today, I have some stitching to share with you. I have some Q&A, uh, a, a request. I have some hauls and stitchy mail and some giveaway winners and new giveaways to uh do for this week. So let's go ahead and jump into this episode. Q&A. Can you tell me how you use, Margaret, this is from Margaret, can you tell me how you use your light? It looks like a table light and I need one that can be used in a chair so I probably need one around my neck. So I'm going to show you, I actually use mine in my chair and I brought in my setup and hopefully this will explain it well. I use a lap desk. This is the lap desk I use. I did get this off Amazon. It's listed in my Amazon shop, which is always in a link underneath the description here on YouTube. Um, I used to have a different one, but I got this one quite a while ago because it has a longer kind of notch. I don't know what this is called in the top, which is great because I have this metallic or this metal, pardon me, uh, book stand, which does sit up if you want it to. But I like to use it flat because it does fold fat, flat to work in or to fit in project bags or, you know, a tote bag or something. And I put my pattern in there. You can also put like needle minders or a magnetic ruler. And then I put my Halo Go light. And it sits on my lap and I stitch right there uh, in the chair or on my couch. Easy peasy. Just like that, um, it stays put really good. Uh, it's not super heavy, but the base is weighted and it kinda, it, it doesn't shift a lot. Uh, I love it, it works fantastic for me and I kinda convinced most of my, my friends are doing a very similar, a similar setup. So that's how I use that. I know they do sell floor lights. I don't know if they're mag, mag um, magnifiers, pardon me. Uh, they do sell like a clamp light and that they do have a magnifier in that version. So some, if, if you don't want to do the whole thing on your lap, something like that might work too. I had a couple of questions from people who wanted to know why I had so much extra fabric on my small land that I love stitch. Um, and the reason it, there's not a good reason. I switched fabric and I actually just grabbed that fabric. It was kind of close by and I ended up just stitching on it. For me, if I'm stitching something small, I don't love a small piece of fabric, except for something I'm going to show you today, which I'd already cut down. So, but for the most part, even when I stitch something small, I like something a little more substantial. I stitch in hand and I do the sewing method. So I'm not really wrangling a lot of fabric like you would think, like trying to hold it. I'm not. I'm stitching like in this left corner and there's hardly anything and I'm coming underneath anytime I have to. So I'm not really fiddling with a lot. Most of the time it's still partially folded the way it is. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't bother me at all. I think that you should do whatever you like. I usually cut my fabric down. For most charts, I cut my fabric down, but there are times I don't, and that's okay too. Uh, just do whatever works best for you. I know there's a lot of stitchers. I've heard a lot of stitchers who leave their fabric in a huge like yard or whatever, half yard yard, uh, 
and like to stitch that way. And then there's a lot that like to cut it down. So uh, my philosophy is just do what works best for you. Um, Lynn says, I've looked through several of your past videos and can't find the one with the pictures from my trip to the LNS with friends. And she wants the name of the shop with the flag of stars cross stitch. It's Cecilia's sampler in Branson, Missouri, and it's the Bent Creek flag of stars chart. And I only know this, uh, because I had to look it up because I've been asked multiple times about that chart. <laughs> so it is Bent Creek flag of stars. If you can find it somewhere, I know it's sold in a kit. Uh, I don't know if the chart sold on its own or not, but definitely call Cecilia's sampler and see if they have it. Uh, Marlene says, what size are the plastic containers behind you and what do you use to store your dies and stamps? These are uh, 10 by 6 by 5. They are in my Amazon shop under Crafty Organization. And I store my stamps and dies in these, the 4 by 6 size stamp sets or die sets. Bigger ones are in a different container. Uh, but that is listed in my Amazon shop under Crafty Organization. So the link to my Amazon shop is down below. But I store fat quarters in these and my um, stamps and dice. Candy, curious when you might do a quilty video for us. Uh, and I did ask what she was wanting to see and she said nothing specific. I have a few on my channel. I have some project bags. I have a quilt block. Um... I don't have anything scheduled right now, but I'm sure that I will do something in the future. It just kind of depends on what comes up. A lot of times I have to be a little careful with that. I can't show a pattern on camera. I can't show you someone's paid for pattern on camera. So it has to be something that I am able to show on camera or something I've done myself. So uh, that that kind of limits a little bit of that, but I'm sure as I come up with some sort of idea, there will be some quilting videos in the future. Jerry, where did you find the free header for the Lizzie Kate's Christmas Rules? You can get that at lizziekate.com. And I didn't put it in last week's video because I needed to eliminate some things. My description was like too long. They cut it off at like, I can't remember how many characters, but it, there is a limit. And so I eliminated a few things and that was one of them. I know I, I remember deleting it. Uh, I will add it today, but you can go to lizziekate.com, Christmas rules toppers there, Halloween rules, and a few others, plus any chart corrections. Paula, why? Oh, never mind. That's about the extra fabric. Diane, I'm... Um, Looking for the list of the overdyed flosses for the sal. Can you direct me, please? Yes, uh, I've had that question a few times. It is listed on Facebook on the main sal post, which is in the featured pinned to the top of the Facebook page. If you're not on Facebook, I have also listed it in any um, of my posts on Instagram about the sal. I list it in the description. I have it on my YouTube community page as well. And uh, in each week's Stitch With Me video here on my YouTube channel. So hopefully you'll be able to find it in one of those places. Di oh, nope, that's the same question. Sorry. <laughs> Debbie, I'm having trouble with getting white floss to cover well. Can you tell me if one brand covers better than another? I think white is a personal preference. I know some people swear by like DMC B5200 or 3865. I don't have great luck with either one of those. So my personal preference, probably my number one is Weeks Dye Works White Wash. I also like Weeks Grits. That's going to be a creamier, more variegated white. Um, for classic color works, I like Snowball Bamboo or 12 Grain. 12 Grain is a little creamier as well. That's the creamier one for them, I think. Um, Gentle Arts, I like chalk. And Color and Cotton, I haven't worked with enough to give you a good recommendation there, but I'm sure those whites are going to be similar since it's an overdyed floss. So I just would recommend an overdyed and maybe try out a few of those um, overdyed flosses and see if you like one more than the other. Um, Lisa had a great point about the Lizzie Kate Christmas rules. She said she stayed with the called for linen size, which I believe is 32 count if I'm not mistaken, because of the buttons for finishing. If you buy the charts brand new, I believe the buttons come with the charts and they're teeny tiny little buttons. 
uh, I have borrowed charts from Cassie and Cassie was so sweet to send those to me to stitch. And so I don't have the buttons, so it's not a concern. And there, I don't think you have to use them at all. I could always buy them, I'm sure, individually if I wanted to, but I'm just going to stitch without, and I'm going to go ahead and stitch on 40 count fabric, and I'll show you my progress today. And that is it for Q&A this week. Shout outs. This week, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm not actually shouting out. I'm requesting for a future shout out. Um, in my Facebook group, I asked if anyone has a Flossiversary Summer Sal 2023 patriotic finish. If you felt comfortable sh having that shared here on my FlossTube channel, I would love for you to send me a picture and the name that you would like for me to use or show on the screen when I do that shout out like series here on my channel. So um, if you have a, a finish, please feel free to send it my way. My emailed address is shown here, right here on the screen, as well as listed down in the description below. And thank you to everyone who has already sent me a picture of your beautiful finishes. I cannot wait to do a whole patriotic finish parade here in a future Floss Tube episode. Okay, let's do, well, let's do a new start. New start is my first section. And I know I didn't start the thing I said I was going to start, believe it or not. Believe it. I kind of squirreled a little bit. Um, I did so much Christmas stitching. Well, I felt like it for the sal. And I had this kitted up and I wanted to work on it. Well, I didn't have it completely kitted up. I guess that's a lie. I had this kitted up from last year. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I bought Sweet Summer from Cherry Hill Stitchery. I know there's a theme. I've been stitching a lot of her charts. <laughs> Uh, and I have a ton of these kitted or stitched, but I started stitching this last year. Just like the last time I visited with you guys, I was really on a 25 count mushroom Lugana kick. And I started and that's where I'm at. Now, I am not going to get rid of this. I'm actually gonna finish this and make a project bag out of this as I've as been suggested many times, uh, especially because she has new watermelon charts this year. And so I thought, wouldn't it be cute to go ahead and finish stitching this and put it on a project bag? So if I get that done, I will do a little tutorial maybe. Would that be fun? Let me know in the comments um, because I don't want to waste it. I love it. It's just big. And I wanted to do tiny. You can, I'm on a whole tiny kick, I think. So I wanted to show, oh, actually I want to hold on to that for a minute. So I want to show you, I did buy Watermelon Summer. So here's last year's. Here's this year's. These are PDFs. You can get them at uh, Cherry Hill Stitchery Etsy shop or at Fat Quarter Shop. They're available as downloads. I got mine from Fat Quarter Shop. And this Watermelon Summer comes with a companion chart that I suppose is somewhere in my bag, maybe. In the bag that's not cute. How about that? Well, I can't show you. Where's the page? Okay, I only have the chart chart. It says yum, and it has, it's, it's just a little companion chart. I don't know if I'll stitch it. It comes with this. Oh, there it is. Guys, I'm so dumb, right there. So there's a bonus chart in here. Then she also came out with, she came out with a couple. I only got this one. Uh, the seeds, I wanted to make, or stitch this one as well. So I am going to stitch these two to kind of go with my patriotic decor. I have a cute little like Ray Dunn watermelon and then I have a berry basket. And I kind of thought these would be cute tucked in around that. That's my plan anyway, just as summer stitching. I know we're doing Christmas in July, but I felt like I needed to still be doing some sort of summer stitching. So I am stitching watermelon summer and I have a great start on it. It is the exact same colors. Well, uh-huh. Okay, 
the colors that are called for, for are 310, which is black, DMC, and B5200, which I swapped out for bamboo and black coffee in classic color works. And then the other two, the called for colors for the red and green are ladybug and steamed broccoli. I already had them in my project bag from last year. So uh, I actually had all of this in my project bag. It's the same four colors. It's only four colors. And I thought, what do I have in my stash that I can stitch this on? Well, I have a 36 count. Let me tell you what color this is. Water Spirit by Seraphim fabric. And I, I was like, is this going to be cute? Or is this going to be something that goes in the pile of things that were a, a bad life choice? No, it's, it's going in. I love it. So I know it's totally crazy as far as color, but I am stitching on Water Spirit 36 Count by Seraphim. It's got a greenish aqua tint to it. I love the colors on it. I am stitching one over two. That's where I'm at for Watermelon Summer. I am going to make these into little pillows that I can tuck either around the berry basket or around that little watermelon display in my kitchen. Um, but I love it. I love it. I say that I'm going to. I might make them into little signs. I haven't decided. Something. I'll do something cute with them. But I... I don't think the screen adequately shows just how cool the color is. I'm sorry I didn't iron anything for you today either. I taught a class this morning and I'm tired. <laughs> and then I, I participated. So I, I in the other and in the other instructors classes. And so I don't I didn't iron them. And I thought, you know what? Everyone will understand. Isn't it cute? You guys. And it's stitching up fast. That was one evening of stitching. I love it. I just haven't gotten back to it. So that is kind of my, in addition to my Christmas stitching, I just wanted to have some sort of a summery stitch. And so that's kind of in my little fruit bag. And that was my new start. Oh, and I wanted to show, just to kind of show you a size difference, I thought it would be fun. I'm going to have a couple of these for you today. 25 count fabric, 36 count fabric. Isn't that funny? But I am going to make this into a project bag. So I'll stitch it on up. That way I get to stitch it too, because I really do like it. All right. Is that my only new start? I have a start over. Oh, I have another new start. I lied. So I joined Teresa Kogut's Patreon and I want to stitch everything pretty much. <laughs> Not everything, but she does an ornament, I guess. And I joined at the level two and Chantal told me to go big. In fact, she's not the only one. I feel like several of you guys told me just go all in. And I was like, mm. yeah, I upped my membership because the charts are so good. I didn't bring the other chart. Um, I, I bought, let's see, I got the chart and then I also bought the uh, one that you can buy at a special price for being a Patreon member. There were three that I love. They're kind of all similar-ish and I love them. But this is the one I'm stitching right now. I stitched it just yesterday evening uh, when my headache, I had a headache for about two and a half days. Bad. And I didn't do a lot. Like I barely could function and I took naps that's how bad it was. Uh, but when it went away, I stitched this last night. Like I'll be done with this guy in no time flat. I'm going to make an ornament. I have something super fun planned for y'all this, this fall. Uh, I can't tell you, I have to iron out details, but I do have a good plan stitched on 32 count paper bark. You remember paper bark? Paper bark was what I started my Flossiversary salon and then I didn't love it and I started the summer memory stitch on and I didn't love it. Guys, I looked to see what Teresa was having some stuff stitched on and she was using fox and rabbit paper bark and I was like, well I have paper bark. Let's just go, let's just stitch on it and see if I like my stitch. Um, yeah. I'm going to stitch the other two charts on the paper bark as well. I wasn't going to stitch them on 32 count because I didn't really want to use two strands, but I love it. It's mostly DMC with, 
well, there's DMC conversion for everything. I don't have it here, but I did get the overdyes. She has a couple overdyes and she does fantastic color. Fantastic. Ah, is it not cute? I'm super excited about it. If you are in Teresa's Patreon, let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys, but I'm just so, so happy to be a part of her Patreon. Um, I love everything that she gives and, and does. So, um, huge fan. I'm kind of fangirling. All right. Whips and sows. We're going to do this because I feel like it's a crossover from New Start to Sal. It is obviously Lizzie Kate Christmas Rules. Here's what it will look like at some point. The full chart. So last time I was visiting with you guys, I said that I wanted to restart it. Um, here is what the free chart and it shows you how to lay out all of those individual charts. You can get them all at one, two, three stitch. They did buy the rights to Lizzie Kate patterns. So that's where you can find them if you can't find them at a local needle workshop that maybe still has them in stock. So I did start over. My friend Chantal um, totally influenced me. She saw my last video and she was like, let's do it. She's further than I am. And she started over on 40 and I started on 40 vintage country mocha because that's what I had in my stash. So I wanted to show you, this is what I originally stitched on 25 count mushroom. And that's the size. Here is 40 count vintage country mocha. How tiny and cute is it? Is that not awesome? I love it. And it's stitching up quick. So I'm hoping to get a little more work in on this. That really wasn't what I was going to do, but I completely squirreled because she called me like the morning after my last floss tube went up and said, let's do it <laughs> and started showing me she was going through her fabric and completely influenced me to get started. But Christmas rules no matter what you're stitching on, if you want to stitch country, uh, not country rules, <laughs> Christmas rules by Lizzie Kate, join in with us. Um, it is super fun and super cute. And I'm seriously considering starting over Halloween rules, even though I have more of it stitched. Uh, we shall see just because I love the size so, so much. And I'm very excited to, uh, to get going on that. So here's what it'll look like. Isn't it darling? Oh my goodness. I still love it so much. So I need to make that a priority, a big priority. So many things, so little time. <laughs> okay, next up, let's talk about the Sleigh Ride Sal, my Christmas in July Sal 2023. We are stitching the Jingle Bell Sleigh Ride Co. from Cherry Hill Stitchery. This chart is a paper chart, so you will, will have to get it from an LNS. Fat Quarter Shop does have this in stock. At least they did the last time I checked. Uh, so you may want to, if you want to join in, join in anytime. You do not have to... Um, you know, not join in. If you're watching a stitch and you want to join in, definitely do. We have two more weeks of stitch with me and then the finishing tutorial will be the final week. And you guys, it's a fast stitch. I mean, I am, and, and so many of you have said the same thing that you're flying through this because it is so super quick. Here's where I'm at. Look at that. Now I did do an over dyed color conversion and that is listed. It, I may not have room to list it down in the description below. So uh, click on one of the stitch with me's uh, for the Sal or go to the Facebook group or my Instagram and you can get the whole color conversion. But I think the color conversion makes the world a difference in the horse 
and also the reindeer. I'll show you him in a minute. But this is the main main piece. We're going to be finishing this on the large sled from Chantal's 141 design. And I will do a whole video tutorial for that. I'm really excited to do the finishing. And then stay tuned because this will be coming soon, soon. I picked a couple of companion bonus charts, kind of like I did for our Flossiversary Summer Sale. And those charts I am going to be stitching as pillows. We have Sleigh Bells Ring, and I've seen a lot of you finish this, so cute. I'm gonna make mine into a pillow, and I'm also going to do Rudolph's Reindeer Games and make this as a pillow. I love that they all kind of coordinate. I like when everything goes together, but I was looking at this and thought, wouldn't this reindeer make a cute ornament? You can pull components from charts and make darling ornaments out of them. So I stitched him down here in the other corner of my blanket. Um, same colors of floss and I finished him. Now I mentioned this in this week's Stitch With Me. The brown of the eye gets lost. So I am going to take, I think, black coffee and I'm just going to stitch the eye and I'm going to on the horse as well. So uh, I think it'll stand out more, but I'm going to finish him on the little sled ornament from Chantal's 141 design. And look at the variegation in the floss. Is he not darling? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited to get him finished into an ornament. Ah, I love it so much. So I finished him and I am ahead or I'm caught up. I probably will be ahead by the time uh, we do our stitch with me Wednesday evening, just because I'd like to have it done. I'm really excited to get to the finishing tutorial for this for you guys. But look at that. So see how the eye just blends in. I think I'm just going to go right over the top with black coffee. I love it. I think it's really pretty. I love text. Um, I love text a lot. So I'm very excited about this. And that is it for my whips and sows. I feel like I did a, a lot of stitching. I'm just loving all of it though. It was a good stitching week and a half since I've, since I've been visiting with you guys. And a good work week and a half, except minus that two and a half days of the migraine headache. But hey, what are you going to do, right? So if there's room, I will put my color conversion down below because I do have it all listed right here. I think that's it for that. It is, so let's go ahead and move on to haul. I spilled everything, so it may be out of order now. Uh, my latest freezing season pattern came. I'm part of this club. Have I stitched anything past the first one? That's a negative Ghost Rider. The block two of the 2023 designer mystery block. I need a sewing day. I need a sewing day in the worst way and I have not been able to have one. Uh, I want to just sew up all of my blocks but this came. I think there's still spots. I might be wrong. Super excited about that. I showed the June unboxing of the sew sampler box last week and I said I love the pattern and the Bonnie and Camille fabric included. And they do have a finishing kit for that quilt. So I'm hoping to sew that up and get it shipped off to a quilter. And I did buy the finishing kit. Oh, here's what it looks like. I just thought it was really cute. It just kind of classic and I don't, I don't know. So I bought the finishing kit to go ahead and do that. I bought the Prim Point Turner. I bought it when it was pink, when um, Primrose Cottage, they had it in their Etsy shop and they had it in pink and they said they were getting it in aqua and on a whim I went on to Amazon and I ordered it, ordered it in aqua. Now I do have it in my Amazon shop, but I want to tell you they hiked up the price. It should only be around five bucks. Do not pay 10. Um, when I linked it and everything for everybody, it was five bucks. And then I saw they hiked up the price. I don't know why Amazon does that and I don't like it. Um, 
Primrose Cottage did have this in their shop. So um, check it out. I bought an extra because I'm going to do a giveaway one of these days. So uh, anyway, it does fantastic points. It's a really good uh, tool. So just wanted to mention that. My Floss Fix, I'm part of the Floss Fix Club at Pat Quarter Shop. And so that came. Here are my colors. I mean, it's feeling like fall, right? Feeling like fall. I love it. Beautiful colors. I love just adding to my stash. I love being able to shop my stash. Um, truly, it's really nice to just be able to go in and pick some colors. A couple of these look like they'd be really good. Like brown sugar looks like it would be good for our sal if you don't want to use Weeks Dye Works. Anyway, so honestly, a couple of these. I think bramble bush would be good too. Like I feel like these two, well, they might be too close, would be great for the horse or reindeer. So that's the floss fix. I have more club stuff. I think that's the only other thing I've got today is club stuff. So I am part of the Color and Cotton uh, Thread Club. I get all the skeins. So, and everything fell on the floor. So it was all pretty and nice and now not so much. So that's great. So here is part of it. And here is the rest of it. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Just absolutely love it. I love getting all these color and cottons. You're going to see color and cotton conversions from me in the future as I get more and more of the colors because I just love it. Uh, my friend Heather actually is doing her sleigh ride sal in all color and cotton and it is gorgeous. I need to get her color conversion before Wednesday night. Uh, I was able to join the primitive colors from Color and Cotton, and I'm really happy about that. Oh gosh, these are so pretty. So I got that. And then I did join their thread club, or fabric club. So I got 36 in the color, and I got pumpkin patch. And you guys, I don't know if this adequately, if the camera is gonna show how beautiful this fabric is absolutely amazing. This is called Pumpkin Pickin'. And then I got the neutral fabric as well. This is Milk and Tea, and it's also a 36 count. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. I totally love these. They're so beautiful. I'm very, very excited to stitch something on them. I could see doing like black work, um, pumpkin something on here would Quaker would be awesome. I did pick up a few additional fabrics from Fat Quarter Shop. This is um, old gold from Fiber on a Whim. Fiber on a Whim is one of my personal favorites. Uh, I just like the colors and I thought this would be really beautiful. I think I've seen somebody stitch something on it, but I wanted to add to my 40 count fabrics because I've been stitching on it a lot more lately. Uh, I do have a plan for this. This is Night Sky, which is a bluish color. It's not black. I'm hoping I can stitch on it, but I really like it. So I bought it because I wanted to see if I could stitch something. Really cool. I have a fun idea. We'll, we'll see if it works out before I tell you what it is. <laughs> um, I also got... Uh, sand. All of these are fiber on a whim. And I think they're all 40. Except that, yeah, no, they're all 40. So this is sand. I was just kind of like some kind of neutrally colors, fallish colors, I suppose. And then I did get this earth color. I And I did see somebody stitching something on this. And I think this one is 36. Yeah, this one's 36. The others were 40. And that is it for haul this week. Now, I do have some haul from Fat Quarter Shop. Um, they sent me some fun things to share with you guys. 
So let's take a peek at what's new at Fat Quarter Shop. First of all, we have the Seasonal Stitchy Stars. And I think these are the table runners, aren't they? <laughs> the finished size is 16 and a half by 79 and a half. And of course you could shorten any of them if you want to. Uh, I think it would be fun to stitch some of these. I'd actually love to do this in Patriotic for my front entry table. That would be really cute. Uh, so this is a fun new pattern from it's so, or yeah, from Lori Holt, Be In My Bonnet. Um, yes, and it is the It's So Emma line with Fat Quarter Shop, and it's called Seasonal Stitchy Stars. The June Stackables pattern is beach themed. Uh, that umbrella and beach ball are so cute. Very, very fun. So that will be included in the giveaway today. We've got Chicken Club Prudence. She is the latest in the Chicken Club from Fat Quarter Shop. That also will be in the giveaways today. We have the Stitch Card Q from Lori Holt for It's So Emma. This also will be in the giveaways today. Super cute. And then there's a couple of new foundation papers from that quarter shop, there is the vintage sunburst in the 12 and the 8 inch size. Super excited to try these out. Um, I am going to try this one and try to make it into a project bag. I'll let you guys know how it goes. If it goes well, I'll do a video tutorial because I think it would make the cutest project bag. Either one of these, honestly. This one, maybe. We'll try it. So really excited. So thank you so much for Fat Quarter Shop for sharing those with me. I'm super, super excited to sew up some of those things and then to share some of the things with you guys. I did want to mention that the July sales of the month at Fat Quarter Shop for the cross stitch of the month, Zweigart is the fabric of the month. So I know that I have picked up a couple of Zweigart fabric. I think I got not a couple. I got another piece of 40 count uh, vintage country mocha, which is Weigart um, for Halloween rolls. <laughs> Restart, possibly. I didn't share that in my video, but I did get that, but it was on sale. So if you're looking for um, some sale fabric, that would be a fantastic opportunity. The basic of the month at Fat Quarter Shop is Pin Drop Fabric by Riley Blake, and I will have links for all of these down in the description below. The Notion of the Month is June Taylor. The Book of the Month is Table Runner Bliss. There's some really cute table runners in that book. And the Pattern of the Month is by Thimble Blossoms, my favorite. I have tons of Thimble Blossom patterns. Maybe I should go see if there's any others I need <laughs> for all those quilts I'm not sewing. Uh, anyhow, if you're looking for any of those things, this is a great opportunity and a great time to pick them up because they are on sale. All right, let's do some stitchy mail. Stitchy mail. So Nancy sent me this beautiful card. Thank you so much, Nancy. And then she sent some things to keep her giveaway, she said. Um, so I will include these in the giveaways probably today. She also sent me some stamps for helping with postage. So appreciated. Not necessary, but thank you so much. That's such a blessing. She sent me some of this um, Cosmo. It's a 14 count, and she did have a note. It's Ivory Ada. It's a 14 by 17 piece. And it actually shows some cute little letters on the back. So this will be in the giveaway today. This is a cute pattern. Luminous Fiber Arts Haunted. Oh my goodness. So cute, you guys. I got a beautiful uh, I got a beautiful thank you card from Tina 
so, so pretty. Thank you, Tina. Also got a beautiful thank you card from Maureen. So pretty. I like how she does the back of her cards too. Absolutely beautiful. She also sent some money to help with postage and things for giveaways, which was very sweet. So thank you so much, Maureen. Gosh, that's so pretty. I love it. Okay. And then this is more card making related, but I did want to mention it here because uh, my friend Ginger heard me talking about needing some of this teeny tiny little skinny twine. I love this little skinny twine. And I wanted to mention it here. This is from Stampin' Up. I like the teeny tiny. I like the chunky stuff too. And sometimes for cross stitch, but this is just a great option. So if you're looking for the teeny tiny, I wanted to show it here. And Ginger, thank you. And thank you for the sweet, sweet note. Um, I am going to message you. So thank you so much for sending that. That was very, very, very sweet of you. And that is it for Stitchy Mail this week. Giveaways. All right, so I have not heard from a few winners from Floss Tube 48 and 49. So I am going, I either picked new winners uh, for one of those or I'm going to announce it again. If I do not hear from you by the time I film next week's Floss Tube episode, I will pick new winners or I'll just put them back into the rotation for giveaways for another floss tube video so I don't have to keep going back to that video every single time. Um, so I am going to announce these here. When I announce the winners, if you would please email me at the email address shown here on the screen as well as shown down in the description below with what you won and then your mailing address, I will get those out to you. And then I will be announcing the winners of Floss Tube 50 and 51. Both of those end dates happened before I before I filmed this, so I thought I would just announce them all here. So hopefully I can just do one big uh, haul to the post office with the packages. Um, and then of course I'll have some new giveaways for you here in a minute. So from Floss Tube 48, I have not heard from or I did pick, maybe I picked a new winner, it looks like. Uh, Chicken Club Hank from Fat Quarter Shop in Lori Holt. The winner is Camping Stitcher Karen. If that is your comment, please email me. From Floss Tube 49. I have not heard from So Happy 10,000. You were the winner of the Star Spangled Ornaments and then the Floss Drop that my friend Barbara made. So super cute. So that is so happy 10,000. If that is you, please email me. Heart in hand bird was Rob Hawkins. Uh, stitching with the Housewives month to month February, Denise emailed me and let me know to choose another winner. So I did. And the new winner is Susan Ayer. So Susan, if that is your comment, please email me at the email down below and I'll get that out to you. And then stitching with the housewife, let's go ride a bike. Sweetheart Street is Vicki Finney. So Vicki, please give me an email with that and I will get those prizes out. Okay, announcing for the first time, um, and I'm probably only going to give until I, I'll give two weeks this time, but I'm having to hold on to quite a few things. So it's going to be like weekly or until I film the next floss tube. And then if I don't hear from someone in that amount of time, I will pick a new winner uh, just so that I'm not having all of this stuff stack up. So uh, floss tube 50, the stitching with the housewives quarterly club summer, which was this kit goes to Kim Bible. So Kim, please email me the stitching with the housewives quarterly club spring Linda Kogel. 
And just to remind you guys, I think there's no floss in here. Uh, definitely check out Floss Tube 50 to see what all was included. But you get the bag and the pattern. I think the finishing fabric, just no floss. Yes. So uh, super cute. Just wanted to remind you. All right. And then you throw things on the floor. No, not really. Um, the Be Stitch Me hand dyed flosses, silk flosses. These go to uh, Marlene Wiggins. So Marlene, please message me. And thank you again for everyone who donated prizes for giveaways. So generous and kind of you. From Floss Tube 51, the Jan Hicks Creates Vintage Christmas Alphabet goes to Mary Ellen Clark. Congratulations. The two Primrose Cottage Welcome to the North Pole. We have Donna Brown and Tina Richards. Congratulations. Stitching with the Housewives Hot Cocoa goes to Judy Davis. Congratulations, Judy. The Fat Quarter Shop Oh Dear Floss and Bag goes to Christina Hain, Hain, sorry, Christina. And the Fat Quarter Shop Patriotic Typeface Series. And I'm just going to tell you that that dark bluish black fabric I got, I'm hoping, I'm hoping he looks cute on it. Wouldn't it be cute? Anyway, this goes to Angie Hinton. So congratulations, Angie. You can stitch that along with me and my friend Karen. <laughs> okay. Um, that is it for giveaway winners this week. Let's move that to a safer spot. I have that in order. I don't want it falling down. Oh, oh no. I feel like I missed one. I did miss one. I'm so sorry. Um, from Floss250, the Waxing Moon Patriotic Barn Trio goes to Mona Ortego. So sorry. And isn't that cute? Okay. So not as organized as I thought. All right. This week's giveaways. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel. Please be over 18. I do need to ask for your address and please be a U.S. resident. Um, and I don't really have a question for you this week. I don't. So just tell me, tell me anything. Tell me what you're working on. I love hearing what people are working on. I have started, uh, I have a series for that in the Facebook group every week. And I love when people post and post their pictures and progress and it inspires me and I write down things that I see people doing. So that's super fun. Um, um, leave the numbers of the items that you're interested in this week. And with that, I have quite a few. They have they're all um, donated here. So leave the numbers of each one you're interested in. I use the random comment picker to pick them. So um, it's completely random. Okay, put a one in the comment. If you would like Little House Needleworks, Blessed is the Life, a number one. Put a two in the comments if you would like if you live to be a hundred, a number two, put a three in the comments. If you would like Busy B by Lizzie Kate, three, put a four in the comments. If you would like Be Bold and Brave by Lizzie Kate. And thank you to Michelle for those first four. Michelle works at my LNS and she donated those for floss tubes, so thank you so much. Put a five in the comment if you would like Be In My Bonnet Stitch Card Set Q from Fat Quarter Shop and Lori Holt. Five. 
Put a six in the comment if you would like Chicken Club Prudence, number six. Put a seven in the comments if you would like the June Stackables. Who's keeping up with this? Let me know if you've, if you've stitched these down in the comments. That is crap. What number is that? I didn't have it as organized today as normal. One, two, three, four, seven. This is seven. Put an eight in the comment if you would like some beautiful 14 count ivory Ada. And it also has a cute little alphabet if you need to customize anything. I love it. So put an eight and put a nine in the comment if you would like to stitch Haunted by Luminous Fiber Arts. These are darling. I love these. Okay, so nine giveaways this week. Put your, the numbers you're interested in down below. Uh, thank you guys for spending some time with me today. Thank you guys for stitching with me during the Stitch With Me on Wednesday evenings. Whether you're stitching along with the sal or not, I love that you spend some time uh, stitching live. It's fun to chat and catch up with everybody. So definitely check it out. Um, I will have a link to the Stitch With Me down below as well as the other videos we've done so far. Look for the Look for the ornament tutorial video coming soon. I'm hoping before next week's floss too. Um, and yeah, uh, enjoy stitching. Have a great uh, week until I see you guys again. I hope you get lots of stitching, quilting, crafting in. Do whatever sets your heart on fire. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click that like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new floss tube stitching or quilting video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.